been waiting for, right? When there's nothing left, it's never all right Even in the darkest of times, I'ma shed some more light Tell me really, what's a day when I've been fighting all my life? Yeah. Every minute of every day, every hour Hoping hunger, no wonder the underdog will never cower In the belly of the beast, but I never let him devour See, we made it through the storm, but go ahead, let it shower we'll like This may not mean much to you, but see, it's real to us. Trying to reverse the curse and rebuild the trust. Wounds will never heal to the touch like you hope they will. Especially when I got all this weight on my shoulders still. But see where we from, it's nothing, that's just a way of life. Yeah, either heroic or blow it, bro, just roll the dice. Our only vice is no advice on any goal in life. Like how you're supposed to know your worth when you're never gonna be able to pay that price. Right. Hold on tight and never let go when you make it to the top. Just yell it loud enough to echo for those of us at the bottom. That energy set the tempo for the heartbeat to the loneliest livelihood. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Venus Media. Uh, today I thought I would be, yeah, basically just making a re review of my Volvo C30 because this is my first car and it's well, it's my ferry car in the entire world and it's just amazing. So I thought we would do a, a bit of a winter review since uh, snow, a lot of snow. Uh, this this night we got a uh, good 10-15 centimeters of snowfall. So uh, yeah, I thought this would be appropriate to do a winter review now, even though winter is sort of over, but anyway, anyway. So this is my Volvo C30. It's a 2010 model year. It's the 1.6 diesel version. Uh, but more importantly, it's orange and it is the R-Design version as seen here. So, uh, as you can see, it's not exactly a stock car. Uh, if we can start with the wheels, which you might be able to see yeah, just about. Uh, those are the stock Kratos uh, summer wheels, which came on this car. They are plastic dipped uh, in matte black just to fit the theme of the car a bit more. And it, they are currently wrapped in a set of uh, Ultra Grip or Goodyear Ultra Grip Ice 2, which are Nordic friction tires, uh, which basically means I can drive in this sort of snow uh, without getting stuck most of the time, at least. Uh, if if I was if I was to drive on summer tires in this, just wouldn't work at all. So you need good tires in the snow. Uh, as for more things, as you can see, I have this slip along the bottom of the front bumper right here uh, plastic dipped uh, wind, sh wind mirrors wing mirrors and the grail except for the emblem of course because you need to keep that Volvo heritage and badge and everything uh, we do have as you can see here maybe the biggest modification I have done uh, these are inspired by Emily Emily C30 on Instagram or Emily Shields on YouTube. She has a C30. She has done basically this to her C30 and the lights. They are basically just the stock headlights uh, with the insides painted black. So most of it has been painted black, except the reflectors, of course, because they sort of need to be reflective. And then we have also added the LED uh, turn signal slash daytime running lights. Uh, so just and now they're just white and then when I turn on the turn signal they basically turn amber or orange as for other things I do have the, like the uh, original Volvo roof bars with some ski mounts on top, on top of them I also have from the V parts the uh, yeah, V parts Swedish Volvo site. Got these wind reflectors for my doors. For the summer wheels, I do have the. I have imported some wheels from England, uh, so I got the Japan Racing SL 01s, uh, which in 18 inches and matte uh, gunmetal grey. So they look awesome uh, when uh, in summer. With and I also got. Some proper summer tires on those, so they are Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport tires on the summer wheels. As for more, it's not 
it's not like a top range, top of the range model. It's just the standard momentum slash R design. So it's the R design seats. It's got the Bluetooth phone and uh, it's got the high performance audio system, which is actually really good. And no nav uh, navigation, no no bliss, no none of the extra stuff. Just it's a, m a modest trim level, I would say. And again, just to emphasize, look at that color. Is not is that not the best color you have ever seen in your entire life? Because if it's not, then I would like to know what looks better than this color because this color is amazing. So uh, yeah, I guess it's time to actually drive it now then and see how it is in the winter or what? Yeah, something something like that. Let's go. Okay, let's get it on the road then. Preferably without crashing or something into a bush. Who needs four wheel drive when you got winter tires? This engine actually, the 1.6 diesel Peugeot engine, considering it being a 1.6 diesel four cylinder, doesn't actually sound that bad. At least I think so, and one of my mates also thinks it sounds not like a regular four cylinder, at least diesel four cylinder. It does, it's, it's not, it's not a good sound but it's not bad either so now that we're driving how is it like to drive in the winter uh, on snowy roads like I'm on right now at least we've got a bit we got like two centimeters of snow on the road maybe so it's enough to slide around slide around just a bit at least it looks like someone has maybe been salting the road which means very bad driving conditions uh, because some idiots have found out that they want to put salt on top of snow which just ends up in this super slippery mix which is much much worse than just snow so uh, we'll see how this turns out some people walking in the road anyway driving C30 in the snow. So this car, C30, is based on the same chassis as the Ford Focus and the Mazda 3. So basically uh, the Ford Focus and Mazda 3 are both known to be pretty good handling cars and this car is no exception, at least I think so. It also shares the platform with the Volvo V50 and Volvo S40 which you may know about, uh, so it's basically the same car underneath, just with a different body on it, and like this car's got four seats, and they, those have five seats, and just some small things like that. Uh, other than that, this is the r design version, uh, which means it is lowered uh, just a bit, uh, compared to the non r designs. It also has monotube front uh, coilovers from the factory, and some stiffer bushings in the in the like suspension and stuff and it also actually has I'm not sure if it's 10 or 15 percent faster steering rack so the steering is more direct or responsive and also at least with my summer wheels the steering or the like the steering feel is actually not bad at all so there's that now in the snow this car is actually a lot of fun to drive uh, on slippery surfaces. I don't know if it's like Gus Volvo, it's a Swedish brand of course, maybe they optimize the car for for yeah, low grip situations because they have a lot of snow in Sweden, Sweden. but it's, it is just fun really to drive this car in the snow. It, does, it is a hot touch, which means basically that it yeah, uh, like uh, a classic hot hatch thing uh, or hatchback thing is the lift off over stair. So you go into the corner with the throttle on, then you lift off the throttle as you exit the corner, and then you shift that shifts the weight, the front of the car, and the rear end becomes light, and then the rear end comes round just 
uncontrollably and that's the thing here it doesn't snap at all it's just very very nice and like gradual transition into sideways uh, it's it doesn't go very sideways it's just like just enough to make you have a bit of fun and also of course the DSTC or traction control and stability control they're also helping you out I've actually found that the systems in this car just actually allow, allow enough movement of the car to where you can have fun even without turning off the systems so that is fun uh, you can of course turn off the STC but that's just uh, it turns off tra traction control uh, but it doesn't turn off stability control so basically you can spin a lot but you can't actually slide it anymore so like now if I just floor it just spin the front spins the front wheels but if I was to engage into a slide it will st would still yeah catch you and make you not slide uh, so there's that you do of course have a manual handbrake which you can use to block up the rear wheels uh, but also when you do that the DSTC also turns on and it tries to, to keep you in line basically but yeah I mean what can I say this car is it is a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoy driving it, both in summer and in winter with snow and everything. It's just really controllable. I don't know, it, it could be like the tires I've gotten. I've got really nice friction winter tires, uh, ultra grip ice too, good gears. It just, it is good car to drive. Just, it feels good, its brakes are good. Just everything is really good. So, I'm just gonna turn around here. Can turn off traction control. This is going straight because the front wheels are just spinning. So you that's something that happens on front wheel drive cars. Traction control off works brilliantly if you just want to spin the front wheels, but if you do want to do anything else than just spin the front wheels, it's not really helping much. Some lift of oversteer, always fun. And of course, there's now the dilemma of oh, you're you you are driving like a maniac on the public road, and like of course, most of us who do who are into cars will admit that what we do is stupid, and that's just how it is. I mean, this is a, ho a hobby after all. I think that as long like now I'm on a very familiar stretch of road where I know every corner I know everything and also I don't like this corner here it's a blind corner so I won't do anything exuberant until here where I can see that there's no car coming and then maybe if I see that it's like the coast is clear I'm not going to get in the way of someone or put anyone else in danger then I think it's you shouldn't be punished just for doing that I think at least if you're just watching out and doing all you can to just don't get in the way of others and just try to have fun on your own, don't, don't try, to try to impress anyone, don't scare anyone, just do it in your own time, just find a nice quiet stretch of road and don't do anything around blind corners, always make sure you have a good visibility before you engage in some lift of oversteering. Uh, so yeah, that's if you're from the Norwegian police force and you're actually going to come here and take my license, license away because I'm oversteering on this very quiet stretch of road only where I can't or where I have good visibility so I see that I'm not going to get in anyone's way then just 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 listen to yourself because you're it's just just don't it's just stupid I'm responsible for my own life and my own safety and I'm also responsible for ev everyone else's safety when I'm out doing this and that's why when I see someone coming I don't do anything and when there is and I don't do anything if there is like a possibility of someone coming without me seeing it so basically I hope I'm not stuck okay I'm not stuck it's all it's fine um, just yeah just 
try to understand the situations. If you if you were to give me a track that's not like 500 miles away and which I can actually go to, then uh, I will go there. But for the time being, there is no such thing, and this is what I'm doing. And you'll just have to deal with it. I am I am really trying my best not to get in anyone's way and not to be in in danger other people. But I think as long as you have that mindset, I don't think, I think you should be fine for the most part. It's just, yeah, endangering other people is just always stupid and just no one gains anything from it. So just in your own time, just have fun on your own and don't put anyone in danger. That's all I'm gonna say. This car is so much fun. Like this, this is my first car. C30 is just so much fun. And also, as you might have heard once or twice, you can hear the turbo sometimes. That's because I've got a performance air filter and I'm driving about the filter box, which means basically just I got I get a lot of induction noises, which is always fun. So turbo. So, of course, yeah, that's basically my view of the C30 uh, in the winter, my winter review of the Volvo C30. It is really, really nice car to drive on the winters, in the snow and everything. It's really, it's just, it's very predictable and it's very, like, lenient and you, you have so much to go on, really. It's just, it's a lot of, it's so much fun, that's basically all I can say, I mean, I can't make you experience this just through this video, but it is really a lot of fun. Just this car is amazing, it's so responsive and it's just everything is so fun. And this this is the like the lowest uh, trim or lowest engine trim you can get is 1.6 diesel. Up. You do get the petrol 1.6, but just I don't that's not the turbo engine so it's just not gonna be as fun so I mean this car with this engine is plenty of fun and if you go for one of the higher engine trims then it's just gonna be even better I mean a five cylinder in this car is gonna be amazing I'm imagining so uh, yeah that's it for me and I'm gonna keep on enjoying this winter road in uh, safety and just make sure I don't get in anyone's way and just have fun because that's what the car hobby is all about it's not about showing off it's not about driving 200 km an hour it's about having fun and that's exactly what I'm gonna do so bye Forty, 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 forty. 
20, 40, 50. And that's how you accelerate between speed limits. And there's my driveway.